Hello, I'm Robert Kemeny with Network Consulting Services. I'm glad you're joining me today. We're going to talk about Imperva's cloud web application firewall and security rules. Let's go ahead and get logged into the console and I'll show you what we're going to do today. If we bring up uh, console, get signed in. Uh, we're going to go to our application tab at the top here and pick our site that we'd like to work with today to talk about security rules. And our example today is specifically going to be around redirects. On the left hand side, if we pick security and go to rules, you'll see that we don't have any here. Uh, these customizable security rules allow you to create rules based on a number um, of, of uh, artifacts, including things like IP addresses, um, uh, client fingerprints in terms of bots or uh, the client's reported, um, the user's reported um, web client, things like that. So um, in order for us to evaluate these rules, they are evaluated from uh, the top down and then from left to right, as you can see here across the top. Um, there are some limitations here in Impervis Cloud WAF in terms of the number of these rules that you can have um, on these uh, redirect rules uh, or the security rules, you can have um, about 500 per site. In, in some cases, you can add more than that if they're simple redirect rules, and I'll show you how to enable that. In the top right corner, if you come to your account management, <clears throat> and when that page loads uh, under the new account settings here, if we scroll about two thirds of the way down, you'll see there's a, a spot here where it says, allow a large number of redirect rules. So we'll go ahead and click that and we'll go back up to the top and click Save. Uh, this allows us to have uh, around 20,000 of these uh, simple redirect rules per site. Uh, allows us to do a little bit more there. So let's go back into our application and we'll find our site again and we'll select it. Go to our security and rules. And you'll notice now that we have the simplified redirect as one of the options. And again, these are evaluated top down and from left to right. So if you ever forget, you'll, you'll know that. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and open up uh, an incognito browser here and we can give you kind of an example of what we want to do. Uh, here we go. So if we visit uh, our website here, <clears throat> we'll notice that um, we can come to maybe a, a pro services page that will um, give us some information about professional services. If there was ever a need to redirect this, uh, we can do that very simply with Encapsula's um, simple redirect rules. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a rule here by clicking add rule on the right side. Uh, in the middle section here, we're going to pick that simplified direct rule, a uh, simplified redirect rule. Uh, we can pick the type of response code that we'd like to include in there. And, and then we're going to put um, the, the uh, criteria that we want to redirect on. Uh, and I think I, let me make sure I can grab this from my notepad here. And we're just going to redirect it uh, instead of to that pro services page, we're going to redirect that to the um, contact information page. And then we're going to give it a name. Redirect, whoops, redirect to contact. And we'll click enable to have enabled the rule and then we'll go ahead and save this. We'll come back to the page and see that we have now that uh, new redirect to contact rule and that it's enabled. Um, and it does take a couple of minutes for that to take effect. So we'll go ahead and open up a new uh, incognito window there to test that. We're going to go to our store, whoops, store site here. <clears throat> now um, we put in our parameter there for support. Sometimes that can take a couple of minutes to populate in there. That's all there is to it. Uh, let's go ahead and add um, another rule and make it a little bit more uh, complicated. So we're going to add a, a redirect rule, but this time we're going to specify um, uh, the response code 
that we're looking for. So we're going to come down and find our response code. Uh, our equals equals means that um, we're looking for the value at the end. And we're going to choose 404. Go ahead and click add here. You can see that it's been added to our editor. If you have any, ever have any questions about the syntax that's going in here, there's a syntax guide on the documentation portal, which is really handy. Uh, we are going to do a redirect here. Tell us that it moved. This time we're going to pick, um, whoops, if the parameter was follow, if our URL had follow in it, like they were following you on social media. And we'll also have that redirect to our contact page. Um, redirect follow. And we'll go ahead and click save. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, let's actually do the wildcard here. Okay, now that we have our redirect there, if we get a 404 error code, uh, let's see if we can make that work. Again, giving it just a little while to propagate. And that's everything. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you guys in the next one.